Okay, so starting in the notes booklet, uh, we just talked already about what is a radian. So again, there's the definition. A radian is an angle measure for when the arc length and the radius are equal. So whenever you've traveled a distance of arc, the same amount as a radius, that's considered one radian. Then we told you that the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. So that is a full circle. Circumference is a full circle. So now we understood that 2 pi is a full circle. 2 pi r. Because we basically are saying 2 pi radius and then radius can be replaced with radian because they are now the same. Okay, then just to make life also easier, we're always going to divide this by two so that we can use pi equals 180 as the universal conversion. So now, um, we did a R's in fractions. So for instance, we had zero here. We had pi over two up there. This is just one pi down there. This was one and a half pies, which is three over two. And then two pi. But this time I asked you, can we get these numbers in decimals just to look at what they are? So zero in decimals, just zero. Pi over two, so I'm just in my calculator here. Pi over two is 1.571. One. Pi is, does anybody know it? 3.14, I don't even know it, to the next one. I guess we'll go to 2. 3.142. This would be 4.712. And then 2 pi would be? 6.283. Okay, so you know how there's 360 degrees in a whole circle? There's only six and a little bit radians in a whole circle. So do you see how different these units are when we use them? 360 degrees in a circle versus six-ish radians in a circle. So their measurements are a lot different. Okay, so where would you place one radian? Where would you kind of be? You'd definitely be in quadrant one. Where would we be? Probably like here. One radian would be about there. Two radians, something like here, three radians, you'd be there, because this is 3.14, right? So you got to be before it. Four radians. Five would be, this is 4.7 at the bottom, so five would be, ooh, I'm not getting very proportional here. 
five would be there. And then six radians would be there. Does that kind of make sense using what I had as decimals, right? So if I tell you, can you graph 5.3 radians? You're going to have to have a general idea of where is that. I know what quadrant it's going to be in. So I kind of have these numbers in my head at all times. I have like 1.5-ish, 3.14. Most of us would, will have that already. 4.7-ish and 6.28-ish. Okay, so could you draw me two radians? So, like I said, it's nice to have 1.5-ish in your head. So two radians would travel and land past the 90-degree marker, right? Because the 90-degree marker is 1.5-ish. So six radians, how am I going to process that is I'm going to always know a full circle is 6.28. So six radians would make me travel almost a full circle. So I need to be in quadrant four. What do you want to do with nine radians? What does that even mean? Oh, it'll like spin around once and then more. Yep. So how much more? Which quadrant should I land in, basically? Two, yeah. Because this is 3.14 more than 6.28, so that's already past nine, right? So just not going past that. Radians, what does a negative traveling do? We just go downward, right? And then I'm going to do this. 3.14 is a semicircle, 180, right? So I better not go more than that. I'm going less than 180 backwards. Okay, converting, I'm going to do a couple with you sh long way and then we're going to just do short way. So 70 degrees equals how many radians when 180 degrees equals pi radians? So this is a long way, which is what I did, set up a ratio, I just set up a ratio. 70 is how much when 180 is this much. Does that make sense as a ratio? What do you times and what do you divide? Because setting up your cross multiplication skills. You're going to do 70 times pi divided by 180, right? Okay, and I should probably tell you right now, right off the hop, because this is a provincial exam rule, everything has to be exactly to three decimal places rounded. If you round the third one wrong, I have to deduct you on the exam. So punch it into your calculator, one point something, 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 you're going to get a two and a two and... Make sure you round to the third decimal place correctly. Okay. 
So are you picking a one or a two at the end? Two. Two. Okay, so now this time I'm in radians and I want to go to degrees. So now I'm going to go pi equals 180. I'm setting up my ratios with the same t-shirts and pants. And when I set them up, lined up with the same t-shirts and pants, whatever you want to think about, then we're going to times and divide. Kind of, yeah. The, we're going to draw angles and things like that too, yeah. So I need you to, again to do me three decimal places when you're done. Okay, so here's the shortcut. You have two methods. You're either going to times by pi and divide by 180, or you're going to times by 180 and divide by pi. Those are your two options for conversion. And here's what I always think of. You always divide by what you want to cancel and get out. Does that make sense as a division? You always divide by what you, what you want to cancel and get out. So do you see that I'm in degrees? And I don't want to be in degrees, so I better be dividing by the degree. So can you try these two for me on your own? And then don't do any more. So just tell me this many degrees is how many radians? Tell me that answer. So again, you're going to just pick. Are you timesing by pi over 180 or 180 over pi? Those are your options. And let's see if we got the same two answers when you're done. I have them up there. Here's a recommendation. Does it make sense? That's always a question to math. Does it make sense? You guys all know I'm a visual person. 144 is there. 2.5 radians. Would that make sense there? Yes. Five radians. I know that five radians is right here. And the reason I know that is because I have the 4.7 in my head. So does 286 degrees make sense? Yes. Okay, right, one more time. I want you to fill this in. 30 degrees is because you took 180 or pi divided by 
What do you have to divide 180 by? Six? 45 is pi over four, 180 divided by four, and 60 is pi over three, pi over two, 180 degrees. Where do I have a plus sign? Oh, oh, plus these ones. These are the big ones. Those are the big ones, and then those are all your increment ones.